How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Day in the Life video, which I'm renaming as the Road to Pro series. I think it just sounds neater and probably a bit more interesting, so instead of the Day in the Life, I'm going to call it Road to Pro. But anyways, uh, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys through my full ID camp experience. I'm going to be going to a two-day ID camp for a college nearby. The college is called Gordon College, so I'm going to go and attend their ID camp, hopefully come up with some interesting opportunities to talk with the coaches and stuff because that school is a school I'm very interested in. But yeah, right now it's the morning before I have to head out. We have to head out to the camp around one o'clock. So I'm just preparing, getting some stuff ready. Um, and yeah, uh, let's roll the intro and let's get the video started. All right, so I just got um, all my things packed, you know, just some clothes, a blanket, a towel, and all that good stuff. I'm really looking forward to staying at the college. I heard their dorms are pretty cool, so I want to go and check out the dorms and see how it is living in one of those campuses. But yeah, so I have to head out at 1 o'clock. It is 7.43. I already had breakfast. All I had for breakfast this morning was an open-faced omelet, which is what I typically have. And I had uh, two pieces of toast with some peanut butter and an apple on top. Just getting some good complex carbs in there, some good simple carbs, lots of good proteins and fats, making sure I have enough macronutrients in my body so I'm, you know, just fueled for the for the day and ready to uh, perform. Now there is something that is a little bit concerning, but I'm honestly not that worried about it. I do have a bit of a groin issue. I mentioned this in the previous video, but I've been dealing with a little bit of a groin pain. Um, it started to pick up again towards the middle of the week, towards Wednesday. So yesterday, I just had a very, very light wall session to get the groin moving, to make sure I'm getting blood flow to the area to promote healing as much as possible. And I did wake up a little bit better today, but it's still in a little bit of pain. So I'm a little bit worried about that. But I mean, when it comes down to it, you're just going to have to push past the pain. And I'm, I'm not one to really push past pain. But when you're presented with an opportunity like this, you're not going to stop because you have a little bit of pain. So even if I end up getting a little bit more hurt from this, I mean, I think it's worth the push a little bit extra and take that week off if I have to. Anyways, I don't really have much to do for the next five hours before I head out. I mean, I, I could try doing some sort of like activation routine or anything like that. I'm probably going to do a little bit of mobility to make sure my body is a little bit looser. But I mean, I don't really have much to do. I don't. I'm not gonna go work out. I'm not gonna do anything special. Pretty much all that's gonna be composed of these next five hours is most likely a bit of work on the Instagram, a bit of work on the TikTok, uh, and then just kind of chilling out until it's time to go. So, I'm about to head out right now to the ID camp. It's about a 40 minute drive with traffic. I should be there on time. A little bit stressed to be honest. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but probably not. I feel like I overpacked in fact for two days. I'm only staying a night and I feel like I overpacked, but <laughs> oh well. I think I was supposed to bring a pillow but I did it, so that's a problem. 116, right here, so 116. All right, dorm room. Yeah, so, kind of forgot my pillow, which is great, it's perfect. Ah. <laughs> so, I guess quick room tour, we got a bed, bed. I don't know if I'm staying in here by myself or with somebody else. Hopefully by myself, I don't like sharing rooms. Uh, what's up here? Just this normal drawer with some stuff. You got a desk over here. Actually, I should have brought my computer. I am so stupid. I could have brought my computer and done some work, but we got the bathroom. 
Nice. So according to the schedule, we're supposed to, you know, everyone's supposed to check in, but right now they're supposed to go to the rooms, unpack, and just stay, chillax, do some things while we wait for the meetup at 245 at the main field. We'll have a talk. We'll get to the main session. We'll have some lunch, I think, either lunch or I, I forgot what else we do. Maybe just some small snacks. And then we have a full field scrimmage towards the middle of the day. So yeah, it's gonna be really fun. They made me place a Chipotle order. I never eaten that Chipotle, or at least I have. I just don't remember anything from it. So I, they just like, I was just sitting there like, what's the healthiest option? But <laughs> okay, I'm excited. I should have brought a ball. I can go get my balls now actually. Yeah, just to play around in here. So it is pretty early right now. We still have about an hour and 30 minutes before we're supposed to meet up and start training. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go and see if I can find a convenience store nearby and maybe get a small snack. That way I have a bit of fuel in me because we're gonna be doing lots of training today. We have a training session right now and then later today we have a game like I said. So I want to make sure I have a bit more fuel in my body to make sure I'm running properly. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can go find a convenience store. So we literally just came here for some apples and a bar breaking. Literally all I came here for. Mission accomplished. Right, so I didn't buy that protein bar, but I'm actually gonna eat my Verb Energy bar because um, it gives me caffeine energy. So we feel a little bit more energy boosted for the training session. But yeah, just we have an hour left before we have to meet up and train. So I'm just gonna eat this, some quick energy, some quick energy boosts, and yeah. If you guys want uh, your own Verb Energy starter pack, if you guys wanna try any Verb Energy bars for yourself, there's a ton of different flavors. I have chocolate peanut, chocolate peanut butter cup right now. Um, I'm trying that new flavor, so if you guys want to try out your own starter pack for Verb Energy, check out the link in the description box below and you guys can get a discount for, I don't know, I think it's 65% off, so $10, that's not bad. Alright guys, so we're heading out to the field right now. I'm not going to be able to film as much as I can, but I'll try and get as much footage as possible. So yeah, um, I'll try and get as much footage of the field and stuff, but I can't obviously record the session. They're asking me to keep the filming to a minimum, but later today I'll show you guys the film from the 11v11 scrimmage. So yeah. All right guys, so something ended up happening. We had to end up canceling the session because of lightning. So we only, we were out there for like 10, 15 minutes doing some technical work. And then that's when they had to like, uh, you know, like kind of delay the session. We ended up um, just staying under a storage shed while the rain was pouring down and stuff. But we got a good talk. I have to find out more about the school. Unfortunately, I wish we could do more of the session. I was really looking forward to those possession-based games, but I mean, it's, it's cool, I guess. We got our game later today at 7.30, so right now, in about 30 minutes, everyone's about to meet up back up, and we're just going to go and get some dinner, get some food in our system before the game. So yeah, I mean, I guess I'm looking forward to that. So we just got back from getting dinner, um, I want to say like 12 minutes ago. Uh, just in the room right now, chilling out, kicking the ball around, uh, you know, killing some time. We have about an hour before the game, so I'm just killing some time right now. Kind of bored. Been watching some YouTube videos, but yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to do right now besides just chillax. Do some camera. milk boys. Say something. Do some milk boys. <laughs>
Rush, rush, rush. If you take your bib off, you can actually go with Casey and start leaning back. Back home. Oh, I love this mirror. It makes me look so good. <laughs> Anyways, we just got home after the 11 v 11 scrimmage. Honestly, I felt like I performed okay. Not like a super amazing performance, but I definitely showed myself up there. I showed my strengths. I showed my weaknesses. And I almost scored a free kick actually. So it was good. It was great. I enjoyed myself. I felt like I learned a lot. Got a, a lot of good tips while playing in the midfield. Um, but yeah, I just felt overall pretty good. Um, my groin's feeling okay. It did start acting up towards the end, but thankfully I was able to push past it. Now tomorrow we got a few more sessions, so definitely looking forward to that. But right now I'm just going to get myself uh, one of these bars, an RX bar, an apple, and yeah, just chillax for a bit. Maybe check out some of the footage. My dad also hooked me up on my computer. He um, <laughs> brought it from home as, he's, as he came for the game to record. So thank you, dad. It is a little late, so I'm probably not gonna end up checking out the film tonight, maybe tomorrow between the sessions and between the time we're resting. 
So I brought my foam roller, I brought my tennis ball, my, my uh, lacrosse ball, so I might end up doing a little bit of foam rolling and stuff like that just to make sure my body's, you know, all stretched out and loose. Unfortunately, there's no ice here, so I can't ice my groin, but I mean, it's not hurting too bad, so I'm not really 100% uh, concerned for that. Alright, good morning guys. Uh, it's the next day of the AD camp. It's currently 7.30 in the morning. This is usually the time I wake up, but I actually did not sleep well at all. I think it's because I was getting used to the new bed. I'm used to sleeping on my own bed with my nice mattress and with my like five pillows. But um, I mean, I did manage to get some sleep, so not totally terrible. Obviously, it's something I have to get used to, but Anyways, right now I have an hour before the team, everyone else wakes up and we go and get breakfast. So for the next hour, I'm probably gonna end up doing a little bit of stretching, some morning mobility to make sure my body's loose. My groin woke up today feeling pretty good, not gonna lie, feeling a lot better than yesterday. And I have some time, so I might end up doing some work on the Go Grind page. And I might also end up checking up the footage. Alright guys, so as you just saw, I had Chipotle for lunch, but I'm kind of tight because I didn't put chicken in mine, so no protein, just a bunch of rice. We got some protein from the beans, I guess, but I need my protein, bro. I'm, I'm, I need my protein. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm also craving an apple, so I didn't get as many calories as I would've liked, so I'm gonna go to the convenience store, pick up exactly what I bought yesterday, just because I'm still hungry, and I wanna make sure I'm fueled up. So, you're gonna come with me to the convenience store, let's go. team does have a strength and conditioning coach who runs a CrossFit gym about five minutes. It's pretty sweet. You might occasionally have like kids do this, take like a day trip or a weekend trip up to the white. We both got 20 coaches. What do you mean? Alright guys, so quickly just getting my stuff here. We just did a campus tour. Facilities are beautiful, the field is beautiful, the gym is beautiful, the athletic facility, everything about this college is amazing. It's one of my top choices for a reason. And they also have a bunch of Christian things in here, which I deeply value. Christianity, God is a big part of my life. So that's something that I really value in this university. So right now we're about to head out to a quick 7v7v7 tournament. So it's gonna be mad fun, I'm really excited. Body's feeling a little tight, but I mean, if we're gonna go and have fun, we're gonna do it, so. This is the last thing we're gonna do today before we pack up and depart. So yeah, I mean, I can't obviously film the session, but I get you. I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea of what we're gonna be doing. How we got everybody? Alright guys, just finished the last session of the day. Thankfully, 
Uh, we ended, had a good time. My body was really, really tired, but it was fun at the end. Uh, I got to get a conversation with the coach, get an evaluation, get a personal evaluation. He gave me some tips on what I can improve, and I got some really good news. They're extremely interested in me as a player. They really want to get more in touch with me. They want to get me into the recruiting process for this school, so I'm really excited with that. This is my top choice school, and I'm really looking forward to taking the next steps with this school. So yeah, in terms of what the coach told me to improve personally, he thinks that I should have a stronger first step. He wants me to be able to accelerate quickly and decelerate quickly. He thinks I can improve that. He also thinks that he had, he said that he really liked it when I played one two touch, which I tried and I try to do that as often as possible. Try and play one two touch. And he said it, it makes me look really, really slick. He says it looks amazing when I play like that. So he wants me to really focus on being that one-two touch player that can play simple, but also know how to play a killer ball. But yeah, anyways, it was an, an amazing experience. Right now, we're just gonna pack up, take a shower and drive home. So I think I'm just gonna end the video here. There's no point in bringing you guys back home. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this experience. Um, I'll look to update you guys on my situation, going to college, going and all that stuff. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. It helped the channel grow. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.